In this video, I'm going to solve the differential equation, the derivative of c with respect to t is equal to minus r divided by v multiplied by c. I'm going to solve it so that I find c as a function of t given that uh, c is equal to c naught when t is equal to zero. So when given a differential equation, the first thing that I usually find convenient to do is to classify the differential equation. Because when you classify the differential equation, you would know the methods of uh, solving that uh, given differential equation. So in this case, we see that uh, this is a first order differential equation. And when we have uh, first order differential equations, the method of solutions that we have is uh, the method of separation of variables using an integrating factor or using the method of solving exact equations. So when we have classified and now know the method of a solution that we have there, we choose an appropriate method to solve that given ODE. I usually prefer to start by checking if we can use separation of variables because that is one of the easiest methods of solving best order ODEs. So for separation of variables, we check if we can put the dependent variable on the left hand side then uh, the independent variable on the right hand side. So in this case, we can see that uh, we can uh, separate variables. So I will use uh, the method of uh, separation of variables. In this case, we see that our C there, that's uh, the dependent variable. So I will take this C on the left hand side, then the DT, which is the independent variable, I will take it on the right hand side. So our equation will become 1 divided by C dc is equals to minus r divided by v multiplied by dt. And then go on and integrate on both sides. We now look at uh, the integral of 1 over c with respect to c. That integral there is ln of uh, the absolute value of c. Then integrate this with respect to t. The result that we get is minus rt divided by v plus k. This k here is a constant of uh, integration. So that's the equation that we are having now. But what we want to do is to solve for c in terms of t. So we make c subject to the formula. We take exponents on both sides. And we have c is equal to exponent of uh, minus rt divided by v plus k. Now looking at uh, this part here, we can uh, use uh, laws of exponents. We know that exponent of a plus b is equal to exponent of a times exponent of b. So our equation becomes exponent of k times exponent of minus rt divided by v. But this exponent of k, we can uh, simplify it. The k is a constant. The exponent of a constant, it gives us another constant. So we can call that constant k1 so that our equation becomes c is equal to k1 multiplied by exponent of minus rt divided by v. So that's the equation that we are have now. But we are also given this condition there, that when t is equal to 0, the c is equal to c naught. So if we substitute t equals to 0 here, we would have exponent of 0, which gives us a 1. So it would be 1 multiplied by k1. And on the left hand side, we would be having the c naught, because we are saying when t is equal to 0, c is equal to c naught. So we have that c naught is equal to k1. So we have solved there for k1. We are saying k1 is equal to c naught. So substitute this k1 that we found here, and uh, we we'll have that our c there would give us c is equal to c naught multiplied by exponent of minus rt divided by v. So what we have found there, this one here, that's the solution of this first order ODE given this condition.